Hey guys, this 4th of July celebration weekend is rolling on and I am stoked, man. Things are going much better than I thought. This is going to be a quick unboxing of Terminator Genesis the Miniatures game. Now this game I thought was done by Mantic, but it says here River Horse. And this game has probably gotten less attention than almost any wargaming miniature game based on a movie, a blockbuster movie franchise that I've ever known of. Uh, probably other than maybe Highlander and Labyrinth, which <laughs> River Horse also did. So I don't know, maybe that says something. But I have seen very few unboxings, very few comments or talks about what you get in here. Now it is a slim box. Uh, I have never known what you get in here. I've been generally aware of the game, but I never really knew what you get in here. After getting this, though, I am going to tell you why I think there is not much hype deservedly about this game. Why you do not hear much about this game and why I do not expect you will be hearing much about it in the future. Okay, so let's see what you actually get. And I bought this second hand, but it was brandished as, I mean, it was advertised as complete and I believe that. So you get the old Warlord Games manual even though this is by River Horse, so that's interesting. We get the game rule book, which looks pretty straightforward. We get some stickers, and these are literally stickers, which I actually think these would be nice if you are playing some sci-fi games or uh, near future, as I like to say sometimes. These might be good for just terrain and buildings. You get a decent looking uh, paper mat, which I like. So it looks like there's some dirt roads with kind of a paved road running between, I mean on one end and the dirt road on the other. And the other side is a complex. Whoo! I wonder if this is Skynet. <laughs> Or maybe is this the resistances area? But uh, I actually like this. I don't have much of a problem with this. I would definitely use this in some of my own games. Uh, I will say it is kind of hard to see where the movement squares are at. Although I think you use rulers in here uh, to do distance. So bag of dice. These dice are okay. I kind of like this silver Terminator looking D6. You get one, two, three, four sprues of resistance. Let's see if they're all the same. These two are the same. This one is the same. And this one is the same. So we will take a look at that closer in a minute. We get one, two. A couple of these have popped off. Let's just be sure. Three, four, five sprues of Terminators. And it looks like these legs are prone to popping off, but we will take a closer look at them. I don't have the slightest idea. Weapon recognition guy. Shotgun, plasma rifle, assault rifle, and plasma rifle. Grenade launcher, rocket launcher. I like that. I do like that. So if you're playing the game, you get a reference sheet um, with weapon references. So what is that? The power on that one is, oh, a D4. So all of these are based on different dice. So some things are D4, D10, or whatever. So let's see if that will focus. Quick play reference. I mean, this looks good. I've not played the game. Some tokens. Yeah, so this is your measuring thing, which you would use, I guess, inside and out. Tokens. Fairly basic. Some very, very generic structures, which I guess slot in or fold over to make the structures you saw on the back of the box I mean they could have almost kept this stuff but uh, I guess they had to give you something 
This is another distance marker. And then these are the ones that popped off. So right off the bat, the first thing I see wrong with this is there's no uh, there's no Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? So you have his face on the cover, but there's no Arnold Schwarzenegger. The other thing I see is there's no uh, John Connor, no Sarah Connor, right? There's no vehicle, so you can't make of any of the vehicles that featured in the game. Uh, there's no terrain as far as terminals, equipment, Skynet drones. I mean, they're almost iconic in the franchise, the Skynet drones. But there's none of them. And you only get two sprues. You get more than one of the two sprues, but you only get two basic sprues. So these are your resistance. I think one of them is a female, you know, which you could use as a Sarah Connor. And these are some males. And then I guess this guy would be a generic John Connor. But if you got four of them, either you're going to have to put three of them away or you're going to have four John Connors, which that doesn't make sense. The weapons I have no problem with. They gave you a nicer range of weapons, you know, with the, you know, any tank thing and the plasma and assault rifles and things. And I do like the weapon recognition. But you only get these four basic poses and figures. And so that gives you, you wind up with eight of them, is that correct? And then you get, I think, eight of the Terminator sprues, which are fine. I think I've built some of these Terminator sprues. And they're fine. Uh, but another problem with the game is, anybody that knows anything about the Terminator franchise knows that what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 resistance against 3, 6, 9, 10 Terminators. Come on, guys. There's no way 15 resistance guys are going to take down 10 Terminators. Right? 10 T T9s or T100s or T1000s. There's no way. Right, there's no way you're going to, maybe 15 could take down one or two. But they've got 10 of them. Which just shows me that the, the people just basically kind of blew off the whole franchise. Right, it just doesn't make sense. Now, I mean, obviously some of these have bazookas and uh, assault rifles and things like that. So, they could definitely, you know, damage some and have a few crawling around crippled. But, I mean, just the nature of the Terminators, you know, this should have been more asymmetric. Maybe you would have had three Terminators, and then you had some resistance, and then a vehicle. Or maybe you would have had Terminators and drones. But to just drop ten Terminators on, on you in the game, I mean, it's not, that's just not how the movie plays out. I don't think you ever see in the movie ten Terminators at one time in the whole history of the franchise. But having said all that, you know, I got a good price on this. I certainly didn't pay what it ever it cost for when it came out new. And I do like I do like the resistance soldiers and their weaponry. I did want some terminators. You can use them in a lot of games as android or robotic or synthetic life forms. And of course, I like them just for playing out some terminator games. I did my own rules for terminator cuz I had got a I had got a courtesy sprue of one of each, I think. And I actually have a video in my playthroughs of uh, two Terminator games I did uh, where they go into Skynet. And it was very fun. So I'm actually hoping maybe to pick up that if I can trace those ruse back down and uh, play some more. Because I really like the way the ruse played out. And if I can find them, I think I'm going to try to type them out. I'll throw them on my Patreon. And uh, we will see. All right, guys, I am heading out. I think I'm going to try to drive real quick. It has not started raining yet today, so fingers crossed I might make it up to Austin, and then I will see you guys then. Take care, and God bless.